The month of March is always an interesting time for skiing as you can either get some deep winter storms or some slushy spring skiing. After taking a southern Utah ski trip last weekend to close out February, Luna and I headed five hours north to Sun Valley in the small town of Ketchum, Idaho. Good morning squad, welcome back to season two of the vlog. It might be a little bit hard to hear me, but um, I am coming to you guys from another truck stop here. I am at another Flying J in a place called Snowville, Utah, which is right on the border of Utah and Idaho. It is 4.30 in the morning. I just picked up a bagel coffee. Three hour and 10 minute drive from Snowville, Utah up to Sun Valley. I think spring is definitely in the air here. I'm a little concerned because there doesn't seem like there is a ton of snow up here on these mountains. We're actually in the Sawtooth mountain range. So I have an exciting day planned because I want to ski at Sun Valley and then I want to actually head up through the Sawtooth mountains to a place called Stanley, Idaho, which is apparently one of the most gorgeous places here in Idaho. And when I saw pictures, it kind of reminded me of Jackson Hole. I keep your blood on my show. really ever explicitly showed how this table works because of the layout of the van that we went with like the table kind of had to be a place where I could put it up but also pull it down when I needed it so underneath the bed here I keep this piece of hickory so I basically put this piece of hickory through the loop here and it goes all the way down to the floor. And then there's this little toe catch here where the hickory kind of sits in just so it doesn't get kicked out. And then the table is just secured with this gate latch here. Um, they just pop out and it sits right on the hickory pole. And now you have yourself a pretty decent sized table, um, kind of like a desk for doing some work, anything like that. We completely handmade this table. This is five strips of oak um, that we put together um, and just sanded down in polyurethane. And largely just by these oak strips on the back kind of holding it together. So I figured it might be cool to see how the table actually works. Cause it, I don't know, I'm stoked with how it came out. We ended up parking in what's called the River Run lot, I think. It's kind of like the first lot that I saw. I just was following someone and they turned in here. So I was like, all right, let's check this out. But I think there's about like three different lots. I don't think there's really a right or wrong answer. Maybe there's some better access points in other lots, but first time here, I have no idea what to expect. It's all part of the exploration. So using the JJs again today, even though I don't think we'll really have much sort of big mountain or deep snow, but walking down here to the gondola station, we will get out on the mountain. I switched out my lenses because it seems like the clouds moved in. So what was sunny this morning is now much more uh, kind of overcast. So put on the low light lenses. I was going to do the gondola, but there was a, a, a line. And when I looked at the map, there was a chair right next to it that you could also basically get to the same spot. I might have to take one more chair, but I figured might as well hop on the chairs. I got the view behind us, guys. That That's the real view of those those mountains behind us. I'm afraid that it's gonna be pretty icy because we don't have any sun. So everything is kind of, it's warming up during the day then freezing overnight. And then we're not getting the sun to loosen it back up this morning. So I think unfortunately things might be pretty icy and tomorrow might be a better day um, to ride. I brought the pole cam this time. So I got both angles. Brutal, guys. Better be a little better than that, but wow, I am way, 
way on the boundary here. Um, I, th I, I believe this is their new terrain. It's the only double blacks, but man, I'm, I'm really out there. And this snow is just so icy. I'm gonna stay where there's a little bit more signage. And also take it a little easy just because there's no one back here. I'm looking for a run called the Glades. Okay, I see some lifts. I'm gonna keep pushing right down the shoulder. Oh man. man. Follow these tracks a little bit. Seems like this has been skied up, so. There's some markings, I think, that might be the boundary. So, I think I'm okay where I'm at. But it's getting really heavy here. Oh, there's markings everywhere, though. Oh. My back. Okay, I see a chair left and I hear some people. So I think we're okay, but. Man, this is sketchy in here. Okay guys, we made it down. Whew. I think we're all good in the end, but I wouldn't really recommend that to be honest. One, because the skiing just wasn't very good at all, but also that's just not a smart thing to do. Go back there with just no other people. In these sketchy snow conditions, there's tree wells, things like that. So looks like we made it back, so that's all good. <laughs> it has been quite the day I feel like this place is definitely pretty rad I just think the snow today is really really off that or I'm just for some reason when I woke up this morning I was super tired at that truck stop I don't know if I'm just not having a good day skiing or or what it is combination of things but I just feel like it can't like 
I can't get in the groove today, if that makes sense. It's about like, I've been skiing just about all day. What time is it? It's 1.50 already. So anyways, I figured I need to give this area one more time, one more shot. I could see the face better from the lift. So I'm gonna try to push even farther down. There's been more people in here now, so I feel a little bit, a little bit better about it. Um, and if I go all the way down, um, there seem to be some pretty cool glades that I think would look pretty cool. So let's give this another go. run of the day the snow was felt like actual snow those are like perfectly spaced trees and it seems like it's like starting to flurry or snow or something I need to fill you guys in on what has been going on since I was just up on the mountain I drove about an hour north of Sun Valley through this scenic byway um, into a small, small, small town called Stanley, Idaho. Stanley, Idaho literally has a population of 63 people according to their sign when you enter into the town. And it is known as one of not only the coldest places in Idaho, but also one of the most beautiful places in Idaho, in Idaho because of its views of what is called the Sawtooth Mountain. But unfortunately, it might not look like it from where I'm at right now, but the mountain view is completely, completely socked in. So two weekends in a row, I wanted to go to a place that would be really cool and I can't see it. So to be honest with you guys, I have felt frustrated because I feel like I didn't ski well and I didn't really do a great job of showing off that mountain, I feel like. And then I had plans to go check out the mountains and then I, I drove basically another 60 miles away from where I need to go um, and I couldn't see the mountains. So I'm trying to just whew, take a deep breath because it's still absolutely beautiful here. The birds are chirping, the clouds are turning orange here because of the sunset. So I'm extra bummed because I also forgot my drone. I had such a crazy crappy day on Friday at work that I was so rattled getting home that I just I just was not in the right headspace. and I ended up forgetting my drone because this place would be beautiful to showcase with the drone. So I always wanna to try to keep it as real with you guys as possible because it's just not all like, everything just doesn't always work out on these trips. You have all of these expectations, you have, um, you know, what you think it's gonna look like and all this stuff, but reality like, I'm on the side of a pullout <laughs> in a town with 60 people. And I was gonna stay here tonight, but I'm like, uh, is it worth it? Or do I rip back up to Sun Valley where it's a little bit more populated? Um, so, <sighs> driving back to Sun Valley for the night. I kind of found a little campsite. I'm making some some dinner right now, but I'm I'm basically just kind of stealth camped in like a condominium 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 um, complex. I just kind of snuck in one of the parking lots and just boarded up all the uh, the windows. And yeah, shouldn't shouldn't be an issue. What's up, man? Okay. What's up? Okay, sorry. I was just making dinner. I'll leave right now. Thanks for letting me know. Can you park on the streets anywhere? Hey, man, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good night. I'll leave right now. Well, guys, we just got the knock on the door here. Um, I was just trying to do some uh, some dishes. Yeah, guy was super cool. Just said, can't park here. It's for residents. We can't allow camping or else everyone will start doing it. So he even gave me some spots where he thought I could park up for the night. So just really nice, nice of him to do that. So I'm going to finish doing this dish and then we got to move. Seems like this other parking right here that, on the side of the street, so. I think I'm just gonna see if I can park in behind this guy. He knocked about three times. I kind of 
didn't do anything the first two or three times that he knocked actually i just was like hey i'm just gonna kind of act like i'm not in here but he he kept like saying stuff like please open up the door let me talk to you um but i didn't just like open up the slider door i just turned my key on and just put my window down like halfway and talk to him that way i'm um, just because like you never you never really know i'm not I don't typically get scared or worried about a danger like that, but um, depending on your situation where you are, I still don't think it's a smart idea to just open up the door. All I'm saying is if you do get the knock, just go through the window. Put the window down a little bit and just communicate that way, um, but don't just go open up the door. Leave a comment if you enjoyed the video or if you didn't enjoy the video, um, and I will see all of you guys in the next episode. Uh, live stream on Wednesday. Take it easy, family. Peace out. Still enough